Hello and good evening everyone Or should it be good night? Oh, good night My friends, today or tonight is the solemnity of St. John of the Cross and as part of our celebrations our student friars have prepared some songs for all of you St. John of the Cross is well known for his writings especially the dark night of the soul In fact, you might even hear the phrase the dark night of the soul being used in a secular context to describe a phase of tribulation or even depression in one's life. In our Kamilai context, however, the dark nights refer to stages of the soul's purification, where God works on the soul to purge it of all that is not of God, until it is ready to encounter Him in the transforming union of love. Simply put, these are stages where our love is purified and like, you know, new steel is tempered by fire. To begin on our journey into the night, our student friars in charge of the youth and media ministries will perform the original composition Himig Sa Takip Silim, The Soul in Twilight, marking the first transition of a soul's journey to God. The song starts with a stark reminder to the pilgrim soul that being misunderstood by others is a normal course of its faith journey, and yet the resulting pain doesn't discourage it, but strengthens its grasp on the virtue of hope that someday, at one fateful day, the soul will attain a union with God. The soul's willful attempt to remain in God's love despite the difficulties causes in it both sweetness and pain. The soul accepts all things in quiet resignation in the act of remaining faithful to the object of its love, God. Sa 
pag-ibig mo ang siyang hanap ko Ang nakalaang biyaya mula sa'yo Batid ko na nasa paligid ko May nakalaang biyaya mula sa'yo Pag-ibig mo ang siyang hanap ko Ang nakalaang biyaya mula sa'yo Pag-ibig mo na walang hangganan O oh, Diyos ko After twilight, we are now firmly in the dark of night, where shadows are deep and inky black. But yet, this could be an obscure darkness with the certainty of faith. As Sun tells us, he had no light or guide, save that which burned in my heart. This light guided me more surely than the light of noonday to the place where he, well, I knew who, was waiting me. A place where none appear, our next song is The Holy Darkness, performed by the student friars of the BEC Ministry. The night is over and the dawn of the darkness. The wolf rays of the sun are coming for haste. Heaven's answer is hidden from our sight. As we await you, O God of silence, we embrace. Contemplation is the way of Camelite. What is the meaning the soul wants? It is hidden from the human intellect. Center of cross brings us back to the mystery of faith. We must be walking through the darkness of faith in order to be in union of love with God. This dark night is a chance for us to get rid of what does not belong to God and hold fast in the source of our rich and phrase expressed in the person of Jesus. A soul journey is toward that divine light of perfect union with God that is active insofar as possible in this life to love. Love is a surrender everything to God. It is love that the human person must be given to God. Through that night, we need to understand what God is doing in the dark night of the soul. Most Christian followers don't, and so they turn away from this deep word of the Holy Spirit and refresh to a spirituality they can understand and feel in control of, or they give up. But John of Cross helps us to bring our distressed questions, our and our demerit longing to the cross of Jesus, seeking the Lord Jesus Christ even when it is still too dark to find Him. It is on reward that we that that we did to embrace our holy night. I have tried you in Christ of affliction. I have taught your soul to be in the barren soil of your loneliness. There we plant my seed. 
Hello, I'm Brother Moses O'Mary. I'm in third year of my theological study in Loyola School of Theology in Metro Manila. Brothers and sisters in Christ, Happy Feast Day of St. John of Cross. Our Holy Father, St. John of Cross, is the doctor of the Church. As a doctor of the Church, he teaches many things. But today, especially, I'd like to talk about temptation. So in his teaching, according to Blessed Mary Eugene, in his book, I Want to See God, he commented on St. John of Cross. How many temptations have you experienced in your daily life or your entire life? I believe every one of us, everyone in the world, cannot avoid, cannot escape from being tempted once or twice or three times or more than that. So I myself is not exception. So in this book, St. John of Cross gives us two tips to avoid the devils and Satan's his fellows temptation. Especially I was really impressed by St. John of Cross saying that when God allows us to be tempted by devil, he is preparing more than the suffering or dark night of temptation because temptation in a sense can be a dark night because we have to go through temptation by faith to overcome it. So in temptation, John of Cross teaches us we have to go through faith. If you think about Adam and Eve, they started to reason with Satan. But Satan is pure spirit and they are superior. So if you encounter them, it's better to run away. So in terms of faith and running away, these two methods is what St. John of Cross teaches us. If Adam and Eve was kept fighting against this temptation of serpent and tried to seduce them, they would believe God's commandments, God's words on them. Um, as first human beings, they are destined to be a greater person. They are destined to be a channel of grace by the providence of God. But second, Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary, with their faith and humility, they kept their faith in fighting against temptation. So when you see Jesus and Mary, you can see how they become the greater person. So according to St. John of the Cross, it's really that when he allows us to be tempted, he is preparing abundantly the gifts he wants to give us. The other side of temptation is actually opportunity. So would you like to take opportunity or would you like to want to fall? So when you feel tempted, we need grace, we need uh, prayer. The other way of fighting against temptation, I believe, is by running away, by thinking of affection of Jesus Christ. So we remember the presence of Jesus, we run into the presence of Jesus, then Satan doesn't know the way how to deal with it. Because like Saint Teresa of Child Jesus mentioned, we know that we are weak for this. So this humility and running away is another way. So let's pray together that we can overcome his snares, his traps suggestions through temptation and to be a better person. Holy darkness, blessed light, heaven's answer hidden from our sight. As we await you, O God of silence, we embrace your holy
minsan sa buhay natin talagang may ma-experience tayo mga challenges, mga trials, yung tinatawag natin yung mga dark night ba. So sa akin siguro yung pinaka-challenge na nangyari sa akin this year yung was when my father died. Parang it really affected me that my I cannot pray anymore and I feel like I, I cannot feel the presence of God in my life. So nahirapan talaga ako. But um, good thing that uh, here in Carmel, we learned about the lives of our saints like Teresa of Jesus and Teresa of the Child Jesus and also St. John of the Cross who, who is celebrating his feast day today. So one time nabasa ko yung um, line from St. John of the Cross which says that the darkness that we are experiencing now is actually a preparation for the great light. So yun parang naisip ko, na-realize ko na ano man yung experience ko ngayon, yung sakit na naramdaman ko dahil sa pagkamatay ng tatay ko. For me, I took it as a as a way to know God more and to to be able to really um, try to really seek for the for the presence of God. Although mahirap kasi nga ang focus ko lang is talagang may mga questions sa akin if bakit it happened to me um, it's still it's really difficult to deal with the pain but as what I have said St. John of the Cross mentioned that the darkness that we are experiencing is only a preparation for that great light kasi nga that time it's really difficult for me to pray kasi parang naisip ko palagi yung tatay ko what happened to him, what happened to his soul. But I thank God that he gave me um, the Carmelite family, especially the teachings of St. John of the Cross. And ayun, parang hindi siya naging madali, but I know up to now, I still am carrying the, the pain of, of losing uh, a father. Mahirap siya. But if we only look at the sufferings also of our Lord Jesus Christ, yung siya nga mismo, he's already God, but he, he, he was incarnated to be like us, to be human like us. So, yun, so pa, parang, parang dun pa lang, parang uh, who am I, I, who am I to, to question the, the grace of God, to question the will of God. So, yun, sa akin, parang, it helped me to to overcome or to surpass this trial in my life. Kasi ngayon parang may compare ko siya sa, sa ano ba sa isang poem, famous poem or tula or song that I heard when I was still young, the footprints in the sand. If you know the story, but yun nga sa footprints in the sand sa towards the end, dun makikita na parang um na question kasi yung yung man doon why why during the times of trial parang he cannot find god and there's only one set of footprints in the sand bakit during the times of difficulty bakit wala si lord so at the end of the poem god said na every time you see one set of footprints on the sand it means that i am carrying you for me it's a consolation uh, as what i have said tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung ano yung sakit there is still pain sometimes, but I know in time uh, we will be able to overcome this trial and difficulty in life. Holy
The night is over and the dawn of hope is now peeking over the horizon. The warm rays of the sun will soon be on our faces, a foretaste of the eternal light of glory in the beatific vision. Our last song is by the Vocations and Social Service Ministries, Only Hope. enjoyed this short time that we had together. As we bid each other farewell, may the light of faith, hope and charity burn in our hearts as strongly as it burned in the heart of John of the Cross. Good night and God bless. <laughs>